Welcome to another Matt Cook, Oregon video. In this video, we're going to the summit of Broken Top. The map here is an Oregon map made by Dave Imus. I'll put the link in the description. This is a 9,000 foot mountain in central Oregon and it's part of the Cascades. I didn't bring my drone to the mountain as that's illegal in the wilderness, but I did get a shot from the parking lot. The trail we took is Green Lakes Trailhead and we hiked about six miles to our campsite. There's a spring right next to the campsite that you could drink directly from without filtering. After setting up camp, we got a nice view of the mountain for a while and then went to an early bed. We woke up early in the morning to begin our summit. It is best to start your summits early in the morning. That way you get cooler weather and less of a chance of getting stuck in the dark. This was my first trip with a group called the Obsidians, which is an outdoor adventure group in Oregon. Throughout the summit, there's just a little bit of rock scrambling to do. During the summit, you get tons of views of the Three Sisters, which are the three mountains nearby. Since we hiked in and camped so close to summit, the hike up to the summit was not all that long. Once we reach the summit, there's a small climbing part that we need to rope up for. Some people free climb this wall, but it's recommended to use ropes and go with a crew that knows what they're doing. Here I have one of the other members check my rope setup to make sure everything's okay. Harness loops do not double back. Okay, you have a lock in here. Locked. The rope attachment that you see there in black is called a prussic, and it locks up when you fall. The only downside is you have to pull up the prussic as you climb. After the rope climb, I detached my rope and walked the last part up. 
and then all of them so might be the room for the red and then all of them where they are and then around the corner. So when you get where they are, hold up so I can point the next person your way. In this last part, you usually have a huge cliff on either one side or both sides of you. There's a view of the South Sister, Middle Sister, and North Sister. This last park they call the catwalk because you have a cliff on each side of you. There's a final scramble before the summit, and it's not all that hard. This is the summit. I had a really good feeling being up here. The summit's a really small place, so there's not a lot to do once you're up there other than get a quick view. After that, we made our way down. We then roped up for the ascent down the same part that we climbed up with ropes. The knot is slightly different than the prusik that we used to climb up. The knot is called an auto block. It kind of works the same way in that if you fall, it tightens up and holds you. The only real climbing part is this 20 foot wall that we had to go up and down with ropes. Other than that, it's mostly just a hike. After the climb, we began walking down. The total trip distance was around 16 miles. Thank you for joining me in the summit of Broken Top. I hope to see you in the next video.